Hello, thank you. Thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film is uh, some additional modification elements that are available in curtain walls. What we've been working with up till now is a storefront curtain wall, but these are all available in uh, the other curtain wall options, which are a little bit more manual. So what we've done is we've taken something that's very automatic, and now we're going back and making these manual edits to it. So I think a storefront curtain wall is a pretty good place to start, and uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility, but it does involve more steps when we want to do some of the manual updates. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, take um, uh, the grid line that defines where this mullion is and uh, kind of change its position here. And the way you do that, if you click on that element here, and let me show you something else too. If you click on the curtain wall itself, it actually shows you the original background, and the original uh, shape of that curtain wall. Uh, we can maintain or continue to modify all those elements that we've modified before, but now we're going to get into the little more, bit more of the nitty gritty and some of the finer details of uh, curtain walls and some of the modifications you can make to it. Okay, okay, the the, the mullion here. We can click on that mullion, but what we really want to do is uh, go to the background of the mullion and define a little bit better that curtain wall grid line that uh, that drives the mullion. So. Just about anything you click on the storefront curtain wall is going to have this little push pin associated with it. Before you make any additions or modifications to it, you have to unpin it. And then you can go up here and change some of these dimensions. So instead of making that four feet, let's go ahead and make that one foot. No, that's, that's too much. Maybe one foot six inches. Yeah, that's okay. And to be consistent, let's go ahead and do the bottom. Tab, click, one foot six. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. You know what we didn't do? We didn't unpin this. So let's go and unpin that. And then click on this. One space six. Now we got a lot of room. But the inside looks kind of bare. So let's go ahead and put a, a um, horizontal grid line in the middle here. And the nice thing about the automated feature, about uh, some of the automated features in regard to the storefront uh, curtain walls, is that when we put a grid line in, it's going to put a mullion in right on top of it and do all the trimming and stuff like that. So let's put a grid line in. What we want to do is kind of click in the middle here, and you'll notice when we click on a vertical element, it's going to give us a horizontal grid line, and we want it right in the middle so we don't have to do any more modifications after that. And it just drops it right into place. Excellent. Let's do the same thing under the vertical ones. Tab, select the grid line, unpin it. It's got some really fine dimensions here, 2 foot 10 and 73, 256 of an inch. Can really do that in one breath, but let's make a, let's make that one foot six inches too. Move that over to the side so it's consistent with the horizontal ones. Same thing over here, tab. Click on that. One space six. Oh, didn't unpin that. Not gonna let us do it. One space six. And that's ready to go. Now you can go ahead and repin that too if you wanted to. So it doesn't get changed again. Oh. <laughs> I made a liar out of me. Unpin it. One space six. I had forgotten about the fact that if you do repin it, it goes back to the original parameters that are set in our properties palette. So we're going to remain, keep that unpinned. Okay, that looks okay. Just a little kind of funky though because it doesn't have the vertical mullions here. It kind of looks like it's too open in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some grid lines with the mullions that are associated with it at the same distance it is between these mullions and add that into place. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out some of these mullions and uh, kind of make for larger pieces of glass on the side and on the top. But I'm going to save that for the next film.